I'm Dr. Zach Lofman, the Chair of the Department of Organismal Biology, Ecology, and Zoo Sciences here at West Liberty University. And today, the Zoo Sci faculty, along with some of our students and myself, are going to introduce you to many of the facilities and spaces we have here in our Zoo Science major. Our zoo science major is unique, it's one of only a handful across the country, and it prepares you to be a zoo professional or work in a conservation facility. So with that being said, here's our spaces. Welcome to West Liberty University Zoo Science. Today we're gonna to go check out some of our lab spaces, meet a few of our students, and meet a few animals. Hi, my name is Bree. I'm one of the ZooSci students here at West Liberty University, and this is Rex. He is a prehensile tail skeet from the Solomon Islands. Um, they are herbivorous uh, species of lizards. They are social and arboreal creatures. So this is Bella. She is a blue tegu here at West Liberty University and we keep her in one of the zoo science classrooms. So you get to learn all about animals while being in the same room as the animals that you're learning about, which is pretty cool. She is an omnivore, so that means that she likes to eat plant and animal matter. This is our leopard tortoise. His name is Dilbert. I call him Dilly Bar. If you look over here, this is his little enclosure. Um, he has a barrel. He loves his barrel. Uh, most of the time, if you can't find him, he is going to be under the stairs though and he also loves cactus, so if you ever get like an enrichment idea and we have a little cactus leaf or something, he will definitely eat it. These are our Brazilian smooth snakes. Um, they are one of the largest typical snakes in South America, um, and we use them a lot here at West Liberty for behavioral studies, like I'm doing in my graduate thesis. This is our commissary. This is where we do all of our diet prep. Behind me, we have the large board that helps us keep track of all the animals' diets. It gets updated, we also have diet books, but it's a way to like make sure that when they're doing food prep, like Kit Kay and Brie are doing right now for the Tenrec, that we can make sure the animals are getting the food they need. And if you look around the corner, we also have um, some of the live insects that we use for our insectivores, which are, again would be in the Tenrec. So right now they're putting together some vegetables and fruit for those guys, their insectivore diet, and then they'll have some delicious live insects as well. I'm Kinsey Guthrie. I'm an instructor of biology and assistant curator of our animal collection up here at West Liberty University. And I'm currently in our gecko lab where we house a few different species of gecko. Um, we house three different species from New Caledonia. We have crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, and lychee geckos. Crested geckos are fantastic species. They're relatively small. They're named from the um, spiky projections that appear above their eyes. And they appear like eyelashes or crests above their eyes. Gargoyle geckos, also another unique species. They are named after the bumpy bony structures on the top of their head. Lychee geckos are the largest species of gecko in the world, so it's pretty unique that we actually have them up here to work with. Um, they're relatively fun species to work with as they can be a little bit territorial and they pair bond, so um, having our students be um, a part of breeding them is very unique. One of the other very unique animals that we house here on campus is a smooth-fronted caiman. Um, he's a dwarf species of caiman, so as ours is small right now, he will grow. So he was rescued from a bad sales situation and then donated to our university. So he is now with us for the rest of his life. We are going into our next animal care space. So this is Kirby. She is an African bullfrog, and they're also known as pixie frog because of their scientific name, Pixicephalus adspersus. These guys are from the southeast regions of Africa, and they're actually one of three frogs that have teeth. So here at West Liberty, we also have the pleasure of working with some native animals, such as Gwen, our common snapping turtle. We devote a lot of time to making sure that these guys have healthy, happy homes to go to. Gwen here is target trained to this laser pointer. And she gets a lovely reward. So these are our rescue Malayan box turtles. We have two females, so that's why they're able to occupy this little enclosure that they have. Uh, these guys are native to Southeast Asia, and they are semi-aquatic, so they inhabit both land and water. 
Um, and in the wild, they inhabit like marsh uh, slash like uh, shallow ponds where they live. But they kind of have like smiley faces, so that's like one of my favorite things about them. So this is our Australian green tree frog, uh, also known as the white tree frog. Uh, they are native to Australia. This is Adeline. Um, she loves crickets and also they're arboreal because again, tree frog. This is Steve, our Aki monitor. Um, he is an insectivorous lizard located in Australia. Um, they're also called spiny tail monitors because he's got a really spiny tail. This is Baloo. He is our black milk snake here at West Liberty University. Um, you can see the really pretty iridescent colors. They are native to uh, Central America. And something really, really cool about milk snakes is they're actually born tricolored, or hatched, I guess, tricolored. And um, as they grow older, they grow and they lose the red and the white and they become this really pretty black color. This is Bello. He's one of our lesser hedgehog tenrix. Um, these guys are from Madagascar and they also have these cool little spines that um, are attached to muscles under their skin, kind of like hedgehogs. So this is our snake lab at West Liberty University and our zoo science major. And here at West Lib, we have quite a few species of snakes. We sit at well over 30 different taxa and the total number of animals changes every year because we do a lot of research here in herpetoculture with our snake collection. So the point of this room is to house the animals that we're ultimately going to be using to develop new ways to improve snake welfare and to understand snake biology. And so this facility is basically set up so that we can hold multiple individuals of the same species. Uh, so we have boys and girls so we can make more snakes. And at the same time, lots of the animals in here are set up in what we call naturalistic enclosures and we're really focused on welfare here. So we want to make sure that our animals are living the best lives they possibly can. So this is our newest enclosure here at West Liberty University. This is our new water monitor enclosure. And this is going to be in one of our dedicated zoo side classrooms. So if you come here, you're ultimately going to be taking classes with the animals you're learning about. So this is a Asian water monitor. Uh, we call him Norbert. Norbert is about five or six years old and he was in a enclosure that he outgrew relatively quickly. So here at West Lib, we knew that we needed a large enclosure for him and we also wanted a large uh, enclosure to teach our Zeusai students how to shift animals into holding areas and how to do training. So that's what Norbert's purpose is here in addition to the fact that he's just simply awesome. Thanks for checking out our spaces today. If you're interested in becoming a zoo science student here at West Liberty University, be sure to apply and go onto our website and check us out.